Hello everyone, this is the second video for the Poldark portrait series. But first, since I ordered some new empty half pans, I decided to expand my skin tone palettes just a little bit. I switched the colors I already had to a bigger tin, and the colors are Raw Sienna, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, Venetian Red, Van Dyke Brown, and Ultramarine Blue. And I added four more colors, uh, Quinacridone Violet, Quinacridone Red, Transparent Pyro Orange, and Quinacridone Gold. Those are also inspired from videos by Jenny Granberry. So if you haven't looked up her videos yet, I highly suggest you do so. A couple of those colors came from my core sets that came in 5 milliliter tubes and there were not much left because I had already filled up a couple of half pans with them. So I took the opportunity to use my tube ringer and it works so well, I'm so pleased with them. And here you can see that I'm actually trying to squeeze as much of the paint as possible out of the tube because I don't want to waste any because paint is expensive, especially very good quality paint. So once I got as much paint as I could with the, uh, the paint squeezer, whatever you call it, then I took pliers and I squeezed a little bit more out of it and then I took a paper clip and I scraped the opening and I think I got pretty much all of the paint out of my tube. So I'm very happy I've got all those tools that help me get the most out of my tiny little tubes of paint. Also, what do you think about my new tin? I thought that it was perfect for a skin tone palette. So of course when I was all done setting up my new palette, I had to do some swatches. And this time I decided to make a mixing chart as well. Now it's the very first time I make one and I'm not sure if I did it properly as far as the quantity of paint that I used. But um, I thought it looked pretty nice, especially for the ultramarine blue. That's the one that shows the biggest uh, variety of colors doesn't look like there's a huge range of colors but once you add some water and you vary the quantity of water that you're using you can make lots of different colors so that's really cool so now the only thing that i'm not 100 percent happy with is that i can't seem to be making a very very dark black or at least dark dark brown so with this portrait i had to cheat and i used a winsor and newton neutral tint that I really like. I really like this color. 
because you can make a very dark black and also very light gray with it and the range you can achieve with that is really nice. I actually made a monochromatic painting with this and I loved it. Something weird happened to me after I was done painting the first portrait, the one of uh, Hugh Armitage. I was really pleased with myself and very happy with the result and I just wanted to jump right into the second portrait of the series. But somehow I got stuck. Something was holding me back. I think I was so happy with the first one that I was scared of messing up the second one. And it took me uh, more than a week to get started with the second one. I was pretty reluctant for some reason, but finally I forced myself to do it and I had a great time. So I need to remember next time to just jump right in and just do it. Don't be scared and just do it. It doesn't matter if I mess it up because if anything it's going to be good practice. Has it ever happened to you when you were done working on a piece that you were very proud of? You just had a hard time starting another one. You were stuck. Maybe you were afraid that the next piece wouldn't be as good. I think that's what happened to me with this one. So for the second portrait of my Poldark series, I chose the Melza Poldark, who's Ross Poldark's wife. And she has red hair and she's got a very fair skin so I had to use very light colors to start with and um, I didn't want to use like just a red or pink so I did add some uh, uh, a yellowish color with it and I was quite happy with it but I must say that I struggled a lot with this portrait and I think the primary reason is that I used the other side of the paper, uh, it's arch paper, and um, the other side is not quite the same as the, the top of the paper. It's a little bit rougher and I don't think it's sized the same way. I had to almost scrape my brush onto the paper for the water and the colors to be absorbed. It seems very waterproof for some reason and uh, in fact I dropped a, a little drop of water on it and it just stayed there it didn't it was not it didn't get absorbed so I was able to easily just uh, wipe it off uh, after I put a couple of layers of paint then the paper was easier to use and it got easier to work on the portrait but I made a few mistakes like I painted the um, the dress I put the red too much into the lace that's supposed to stay white and that red I couldn't really clean up all of it even though arch paper is really tough and I can really scrub as much as I can with it um, the red was too staining so I still had a bit of red on my white lace and then I had a hard time with the hair again and I really have to focus on that. Try to plan ahead better because once I was done, I hadn't chosen the, the good colors, I guess. And so I had to remove some of the colors and started kind of damaging the paper a bit. So in the end, it looks okay. If you look close at the paper, you'll see that it's been worked on. It's been really abused, but uh, from far away, it looks okay. Um, yeah, so I, I need to practice working on my hair more and especially planning ahead how I want to paint my hair. All in all, I'm very happy with the new colors that I added. It gives me a wide range of colors that I can use for all sorts of portraits. I do need a darker dark 
um, but I'm probably going to cheat with my neutral tint next time if I need it again. And in spite of my struggles and the fact that it took me almost twice as long to paint this portrait uh, than the, uh, the previous portrait, I'm really happy with the result. I think it resembles the Melza pretty well. Not 100%, I still have to work on that too. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. Tell me what you think. Are you familiar with those characters? Uh, are you going to watch the new season? And who do you think I'm going to paint next? Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.